Okay, what's up guys? Welcome back to Go with Cleansing in the Stand. So in this video, we are going to continue the Django Rest Framework tutorial series in the Stand. So we are going to continue. So in this video, I'm going to show you how, to, how you can delete a cart in the Stand. So in the previous videos, in the last two videos, I talked about how you can create a cart and also how you can retrieve a cart and its cart items you get. So in this video right now, I'm going to show you how to delete a cart. It's super simple in the Stand. So, so right now, I'm going to take it down to my view set, to my view, so to our Django view now in the stand. So I'm going to go down to the page, so right at the bottom of the page now. So we have our card view set here, and right now we have two mixings in the stand. We have the create model mixing, and we also have the retrieve model mixing. These are two mixings that perform two different operations. The first one helps to create a new card, but the second model mixing helps to retrieve a card and its items in the stand. So Right now, we want to delete a card, so we are going to add an extra model mixing. You understand? Normally, normally, we, normally, normally, we should have just used the model view set. You understand? Because the model view set, the, the, the model view set covers the crude operations you get. So, but we are not, but right here, we are, we, are, we are not covering crude operations. You understand? We are not, we are not covering the crude operation. We are simply covering three operations from the crude operation. You understand? We are simply covering three from the crude operations you get. So. We are not. We are not. We are, we are not handling the list operation here. We are not. We are not getting all the cards. We are simply creating a card, retrieving and deleting. So we can't use the model view set in this time because it covers a crude operation, which involves listing the old cards. You are only allowed to see your own cards in this time. You can't see other people or others, other 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 people's cards in this time. So right now I'm going to add. I'm going to add one more mixing here. So if I go down to this page now, if I get, I want to show you something. So here's the page now. So let's go down, refresh this page. So right now we have this is our card page. You understand? It helps us to create new cards. It, 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 it helps us to create new shopping carts. You understand? That what it does here. Yeah? You get. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to get. A, let's simply get a. Let me, I'm going to get the card ID. Or let's get this one over here. One on top. Copy and let's paste here. And if I paste that, enter. You can see right now. I am I am on the detailed page of a card in the stand, and we want to add the we, we want to add the, the, the delete button on the detailed page of every card in the stand. Once we want to be able to delete our cards in the stand, we want to be able to delete them. If we don't want them again. So go down to your view set now. To your view set, add one more field. We are going to add, we are going to add one more mixing. This mixing is called destroy model mixing. Destroy model mixing. Destroy model or oh, mixing. What was happening you should have suggested this for me you should have sh suggested this missing for me but I, but I can't find that so since it, since so right now just go and copy right now I'm going to import that from rest framework those mixings so you are going to import destroy model mixing so let's do that so we have it there so it's already so we have it at the top already so once we've done this now go down to your page now to your browser refresh you can see right now we have the, right now we have the delete button on the page. Now right now we can simply delete cards. Understand? We can we can simply delete cards right now. But here I don't want to delete this cards here because it already has some items you get. So right now I'm going to go down to my cards. So I'm uh, creating a card endpoint. So I'm going to come down here. So over here now. Let's see. Okay, right now I want to create a new card and then delete it in the stand. In the stand, but there's an, there is a slight issue here. If you can see here, we have this items field and it's coming from here. Let me show you where it's coming from. From our serializers in the stand. So, please, before you follow along, I want to, I want you to go and watch the previous episodes. So check out the previous episodes in the stand. Check out the previous episode you get. So right now this is our card serializer in the stand. So we have it over here. Where is it again? I'm sorry, I'm looking for it to find. Okay. Right now we have our card serialized in the stand. If you check closely, we added a new, we, we, are, we added two extra fields into the serializer in the stand. We, we, added, we added two extra fields you get. So right now, whenever we are, so right now, whenever we are retrieving a card, I don't want to. Right now, so right now, whenever I want to create a new card now, we are going to always be having this field there in the stand. I don't want it to be there in the stand. I don't want it there in the stand. So I will simply make this to be read only. Read only, you understand? So come over here and save it only. We don't want that. Though. Whenever I want to create a new card, we want, to, we want to simply just create a card with the ID, which is ID simple. We don't want the items field there, you understand? So just set this to read only equal to 
true. Once you do that there, that field, once, once you do that there, the field over here is going to disappear. You understand? So refresh the page now. You're not going to see that field over there again. So I see myself. Okay, you can see the field is gone now. So we have an empty object there. That's an empty object. You understand? So right now we can simply create a new cart. I'm going to create a new cart now. So right now I have a new cart. Perfect. So I will simply copy the ID of this cart. Copy this ID. Can't you see? Now paste over here. So once we paste the card, once we paste the ID there, so enter. So now, right now, we are on the detail page of this card. So I can simply delete this card right now. You need to, I can delete this card to get. So click on delete. So, once it's, so now click on delete. So let's see. Now it's, it's, it has been deleted already. The card has been deleted. The card has been deleted already in this time. So if you check this, you can say two for no content. That means it has been deleted again. So I showed you how to delete a card in this time. We've, we've, we've cleared the card already. So I'm going to show another card now. So copy this ID. So let's copy this ID. So this, this is an empty card. So I'm going to delete this one right now. So let's copy the ID. I'm going to simply copy now to so the browser now. So simply put in the ID there. So paste and say enter. So right now you can see we have 200 OK. So let's delete. So right now I'm going, to, I'm going to delete this card right now. So click on the delete button. Click on delete up there. Understand? So the card is gone, and you can see it says here to for no content. So that is how to delete a card in the Django Rest framework. You understand? So right there, I just showed you how to delete a card. How you can delete a card in the Django Rest framework. You understand? So we are done with right now. We are done with the card series. Understand? We are done with everything about the card. Understand? So in the next series, we are going to work on card items. In this time, whereby you're going to learn how, to, how, how you can create a cut item, how you can update a cut item, how you can retrieve a cut item, and also how you can delete cut items. In this time. So, you are going to perform basic crude operations. You are going to perform basic crude operations on the cut items. In this time. So, that's not being the next set of tutorials. In this time. So, please, if you don't want to miss out on these tutorials, do well to subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe.